I need uh, a longer pipe to extend that square transition piece. So you can see the piece on the right. I need a piece that's probably about twice that length, but I don't have anything that has this outside diameter. Everything I have is a little bit bigger. So let me show you how I modified it to work. I do happen to have a piece of Schedule 40, just a piece of scrap Schedule 40, but unfortunately the diameter of Schedule 40 is larger than what I need to, to fit. So I'm going to cut a piece of Schedule 40 here. I'm going to slit, take a slit out of it. I'm going to squeeze it together and glue it and make myself a short piece of pipe to solve my problem. You can see here that the Schedule 40 just will not fit. It's just a hair too large in diameter. So here you can see I've taken a small section of pipe out using my oscillating tool. Works really well on PVC and wood. I'm going to clean it up a little bit of the file. I'll glue it with some PVC glue and clamp it. And it will fit into this transition fitting beautifully. I let my pipe glue sit all night. And looks like it is bonded very nicely. So that's how you do it. That's how you make a piece of Schedule 40 PVC a little bit smaller in diameter. I will give you one suggestion. This is going to be a little snugger than I'd like. But it's going to go down in there. I'll just tap it in. And what happens is by taking a little section out, you don't have it perfectly round anymore. I would uh, recommend you go just a little bit smaller than whatever you think it is. You can see I got this, you can see this that it's smaller here, but as it gets back in this section, it gets pretty tight again. So my recommendation is uh, too big is a problem after you go through all this work, and so you're always better off being just a, a hair undersized, especially if this is not a pressure line. Next time I do this, I'll do it a hair undersized. Uh, not as tight to this fit. And also there's probably a little bit of a taper in here, which probably is going to make this even tighter when I try to push it in. But I'll just tap it in with a mallet, uh, put a little lubricant on the side of it. But my suggestion is go a little smaller in diameter than you think you really need. So that's how you do it. That's how you take this and get it down to this outside diameter by just... Splitting it, take a little section out, re-glue it, and clamp it. You can also use hose clamp or even a zip tie, a couple zip ties around it just to hold it in place. But I think the best clamp actually is to take a sleeve like this and after you've cut a section out and, and, and glued it, slide this over the top of it. This clamps it really, really tightly and holds it in place very nicely for the glue to set up overnight. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. It's a really simple idea. No rocket science here, but a lot of you like to see somebody else do it first before you do the obvious. Here's the finished product. I've got the transition fitting raised up substantially from where it was before. Uh, it's up about four or five inches. Thanks for watching. How about a thumbs up if you found this enjoyable or helpful?